Hey, good morning. Northeast Hunter here. We have uh, Lady Q, the Huntress, with us over here. We're going uh, to take another walk today and see if we can find some more chaga. We also, not chaga, uh, reishi. We also um, have found some Boletus bicolor in here. We call it lemon cake because when you break it, it looks very similar to lemon cake on the inside. It's, it's an edible and it's delicious. It's a firm mushroom, fairly large cap. So let's go for a walk. Feed our way through these blueberry bushes here. So um, we have rain in the forecast and we've already had a little bit of rain and so typically um, after a rain is when you will see a flush of mushrooms and this is the time of year when we're finding when we find the bolete we've already found a few in another spot um, and so we're just taking a chance that maybe we'll find some here too That's what's fun about mushroom hunting is that you um, you never know you never know when you're going to get them. She's she knows where she's going and what she's doing. She's not going to wait for me. So, honey, you want to say a little something? So, what do we? What are we doing today? What are we looking for? Oh yeah, today we're looking for reishi. Yeah. The last day for reishi of the year. Yeah, I think <laughs> so, because we already have a lot. We've already found quite a bit, and we have enough, and we have enough for some friends, so now it's more just for fun. Um, you know, it's just a small foray for for exercise, mostly, and you know, plus you never know what you'll find when they're in season. It's we like to go, so so that's what we're doing today. We're hoping to find some some reishi. We found reishi in here in the past. Reishi, the reishi that we find is called Ganoderma suge, and. The Ganoderma genus has many different species, but the suge species, suge, relating to suga, suga canadensis, which is the, the hemlock tree. Uh, and so Ganoderma suge means Ganoderma that grows on the hemlock or that has a mycorrhizal relationship with the hemlock. And so, for those of you that might not know, this here is a hemlock. You can tell by the, the flat needles and the underside, if you look real closely at it, has two silver stripes. And I'm not sure, I don't remember what those are called, but that's how the plant breeds. And so... Um, Early in the spring, you see the new growth out at the tips, and that new growth is actually edible, so makes a makes an excellent trailside nibble. And it has um, a little bit of a lemony taste. It's pretty good, actually. It's nothing that I would harvest and bring home but it does make a really nice trailside nibble if you like that earthy, lemony taste. I like it. We have some friends that asked us to shoot a video the next time that we went for a uh, foray for reishi. They wanted to see what we do to find it and so 
that's the main purpose of today's video is so that they'll have some reference as to what it's like when we go for a walk. Sometimes the places where we find it, it it's, you don't have to walk far at all, but other times it's like today, it's a little further. It's probably maybe a half a mile from where we park, but it's easy walking. It's a well-established trail. People use um, mountain bikes here and they ride horses. It's not open to motorized vehicles, but pretty much everything else can come here. And so it's a nice trail. It's very, very quiet, very peaceful. And um, usually it's a productive walk for us when we're foraging. But I haven't seen any bolete yet, so it may be a little early. We have found them in other spots, but usually if we're going to find them here, we'll, we will have already found some because once they're up, once they flush, it's they're pretty much everywhere if you're in the right environment. They have some some kind different. You want to? Have you have some. Else? You have some mushrooms. What are you seeing? That lady Q has found some mushrooms over here. She wants to go explore. Oh no! Nice. Oh, you found some reishi. Yeah, some kind of reishi. No, no, this, this one. Well, it's a Ganoderma. This, this one's different. But I don't think it's suge. But it definitely looks like, yeah, no, it's oh, a soft. Oh, yeah, different. It's a soft, soft and shelf mushroom. But it's growing on an old hemlock stump. So it's most likely some variety of Ganoderma, but not suge. It's not what we're looking for, but it's very similar. Interesting mushroom. So that was our first find of the day. It's always fun just to find some different ones and try to identify them. That one is uh, something. Uh, yeah, some I think edible. it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think edible. Probably not edible. Yeah. But I think it was in the Ganoderma genus. Looked very similar. Another Ganoderma that we find and harvest sometimes is the artist's conch. And um, it's said to be medicinal, but it's uh, more often used as a as a medium for artists. They'll scratch out a little picture on it, and it just just colors brown, and it makes a nice little natural medium. Well, we've arrived at the area where, in the past, we've found reishi and bolete, but it looks like today. Oh, you know why? The tree too old. Yeah, I think this tree has gone past gone. Yeah. because there's nothing. There's nothing growing on it. And last year we found, or maybe it was a couple years ago, we found reishi growing here. 2014. What's that right there? Did someone take some? I don't think so. No, yeah, that's different. So, at least we had a nice walk. So, what do you think, Lady Q? Want to say goodbye? Hi. Hi goodbye. and hi and bye. <laughs> hi and bye. Maybe we go different place. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe if we find some somewhere else, we'll shoot some more videos. So, see you for now. Thanks for watching.